Welcome back to the Meet the Satellite series where we take a look at the latest Earth observing technologies up close. Behind me you can see the two satellites that make up the METOP SG mission. Today we're going to be meeting the first of the satellites, METOP SG A. Let's go and take a closer look. MEDOP SG's role is to collect data about the land, about the atmosphere, and about the oceans. It's in polar orbit, so we get a global view. It orbits the Earth 14 times a day. It is bristling with instruments. It's like a satellite multi-tool, and it's powered by the solar panel you see at the back. There are six different instrument missions on board MEDOP SG A. Let's start with Yazi Next Generation, Yazi NG giving us profiles of temperature and humidity, but also giving us information on the atmospheric composition, looking at the gases in the atmosphere. We've got the microwave sounder. Using the microwave, able to see through clouds, giving us more information about the temperature and the humidity, but also information about snow and ice on the surface. Next up, we have MetImage really high resolution imagery, useful for looking at the clouds, for looking at the land surface, for looking at sea ice and looking at the ocean surfaces. 3MI, a new way of monitoring the tiny particles, the aerosols high up in the atmosphere that are associated with the formation of clouds. 3MI is going to really help us understand the cloud processes and that's going to contribute to weather forecasting and climate modelling. This satellite will also be able to monitor atmospheric quality and atmospheric composition using the Copernicus Sentinel-5 mission, which is hosted on board METOP SGA. The data from Sentinel-5 get fed into the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Service model, and that gives us really high quality atmospheric forecasts. All of this data goes to support our weather forecasting for the next few hours to 10 days ahead, massively contributing to our understanding of the Earth's land processes, the atmosphere processes and the ocean processes. There's a lot more satellites going to be launched soon, so do keep an eye out for more in the Meet the Satellite series.